Armor Core Installation Armor Core bullet resistant fiberglass panels are manufactured by Waco Composites. Armor Core can be installed using conventional tools and is used in a variety of applications including government buildings, banks, and private safe rooms. Due to the ease of installation, Armor Core panels are regularly installed by contractors with no previous experience in armoring construction. Waco Composites uses only raw materials made in the USA. Armor Core is specified in different UL listed ballistic levels of protection. The level of protection will dictate the thickness and weight of the product. As part of the company's ISO quality management program, it performs in-house ballistic testing to assure the consistency of input and finished product. 12 inch by 12 inch samples are fastened into the bullet trap. All ammunition is loaded by hand. Bullets are loaded into the specified caliber barrel mounted on a stationary universal receiver. Velocities are measured through a chronograph and chronometer. Test results are recorded. Armor Core provides a non-ricocheting, non-spalling ballistic solution by encapsulating the projectile. Once the level of protection is determined, panels can be ordered in sizes from 3 foot, 4 foot and 5 foot widths by 8 foot, 9 foot and 10 foot lengths. If measurements can be provided in advance, the sales team can optimize the pieces out of the various panel sizes for cost efficiencies. Waco Composites can then program and cut panels to any two-dimensional size with its CNC water jet cutters. Finished product is packed and checked one final time prior to shipment from the manufacturing plant in Waco, Texas. Panels can be picked up at the dock or delivered directly to a shop or the job site. Most orders will ship out within a few days. Indicate any special requirements for the shipping at the time of the order. This includes liftgate service, appointment, residential delivery, or any other special circumstances. Once delivered, cut the metal shipping banding and inspect the panels. All levels of material follow the same installation procedures, although the highest levels of protection may require some pre-drilling and mechanical means to handle the weight when moving the product into position. The on-site project demonstrated in this video is a wood-framed residential safe room. Armor Core Level 3 is being installed for this project to provide ballistic, storm, and forced entry protection. Armor Core is also frequently installed directly to steel framing studs or furniture systems such as a desk or dais. Part of Armor Core's functionality is that it can be installed to look like any other wall in the building and fitted to any room size. In wall or ceiling applications, Armor Core is attached directly to the studs, then covered with drywall. This 8 by 10 foot room will also serve as a walk-in closet. Swinging architectural wood doors or hollow metal doors utilizing armor core in the interior can be used to match the rest of the building. In this application, a mechanical pocket door complete with backup battery and doorway sensors has been provided by Rhino Vault Security Structures located in Royce City, Texas. The core of this door is fitted with armor core level 3 to ensure the same level of protection. Panels have already been installed on two walls and one wall has already been covered with drywall. Now the remaining walls and ceiling will be finished out. Armor core can be cut in the field using a diamond grit saw blade. Waco Composites does carry a quality circular blade available for purchase at the time of the order. Similar to working with fiberglass insulation, cutting and drilling will create fiberglass particles that can be irritating. Personal protective equipment for handling the product include a Tyvek suit and gloves to protect the skin and a particle mass and safety goggles or glasses. In a new construction or renovation, Armor Core can be installed on either side of the stud wall and maintain its bullet resistance. If Armor Core is also being utilized for protection against airborne debris in tornado or hurricane force winds, then it is ideal for panels to be installed on the threat side or outside of the framed enclosure.
Other design details to build a room that is structurally sound in a violent storm can be found in the FEMA document P-320. Armor core is also being installed to provide protection in the ceiling. A good polyurethane construction adhesive will bond well with the panels and is frequently used in woodworking to adhere panels to plywood or wood studs. Construction adhesive is being used in conjunction with screws in this project to provide optimum strength in case of a tornado. Some installations such as this will require penetrations including cutouts for electrical boxes. Typical twist drill bits may be used for drilling holes into the material. A diamond grit reciprocal saber saw can be used for shaped cuts. For these box cutouts, pilot holes are drilled out and a jigsaw is used to cut the rest. In order to provide protection behind the penetrations, a 12 inch by stud length piece of the same level of material is at the back side of the cutout. Another potentially vulnerable location is the butt joint where the two panels meet. A 4 inch batten strip of the same level of material is attached to the back of the panels at this joint to provide backing protection. By lining up the joints so the panels break between the studs instead of on the studs, batten strips can be attached without having to fur the wall out. This batten strip is being attached to one panel first and the horizontal studs are notched to keep the panels flush. Batten strips are not required at the corners, but one panel should simply overlap the next one where they meet together. A self-tapping drywall screw is ideal for attaching armor core. The screws will not countersink, but this will not be an issue if covering with drywall. If a laminate or wood is being used on the surface, it may be necessary to pre-drill a countersink hole. The shear strength of armor core is much greater than wood, therefore a minimal number of screws can be used to hold the panels in place on the walls. Once covered with drywall, the complete screw pattern can be used to penetrate through both materials into the studs. The steel frame of the pocket door is also being hardened with the same armor core panels to secure the entire room. Once armor core is in place, the drywall can be hung so that the walls can be finished out to maintain the same aesthetic as the other rooms. It is possible to adhere to or paint the armor core directly. In these applications, the armor core should be wiped clean using acetone or an extra layer called a peel ply that can be added in the manufacturing process. The peel ply is pulled off in the field during the installation to provide a clean, slightly textured surface ready to work with. If armor core is to be installed outdoors where it will be exposed to the elements, it should be coated with a paint that has a UV inhibitor. The drywall is prepared, textured, and painted as any other application. Access is still available to the door motor and backup battery. With the touch of a button, the door is closed and the room is secure. The finished room is ready for this homeowner's family as a safe haven from an intruder, violent storm, or any other threat. For more information regarding installation or any other questions regarding Armor Core bullet resistant panels, call toll free 866 688 3088 or visit the website at www.armorcore.com.